All right, people, I'm back. The next matchup is going to be just as competitive. It's going to be the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Now, this is a matchup that a lot of people did anticipate. This was a matchup a lot of people did predict. It is one of those physical matchups. I think this one right here, this is just my opinion. I might be right. I might be wrong. Don't take it personal. Please don't misconstrue what I say. I think this might be a better um, anticipated basketball game than the Los Angeles Lakers versus Portland. Because I think from start to end, this is going to be by far the best matchup, the best series in this. Um, this could go five games. This could go six games. Um, I do believe the Clippers should win the first game because you got Paul George. You got Kawhi Leonard. They've got an experienced coach. Um, they've been in the playoffs before. This team is playoff bound. And this is a team that everyone expects to beat the Lakers to win the West and win an NBA championship. And this team have played each other two or three times before in the NBA season. And we're getting a chance to see what's going to happen in a competitive playoff atmosphere. You're talking about the Los Angeles Clippers, the Dallas Mavericks. Now, we all know that the Dallas Mavericks is a former NBA champion team that won a title once upon a time and the Clippers is a team that ain't never won no titles in their franchise but they have a player on there who has gone to the NBA finals multiple times and won championships with, with two different franchises and that's Kawhi Leonard he won his championships with the Spurs and with the Raptors and we're going to get a chance to see what he can do with this Clipper team now I do believe the Clippers will win this series I don't think it's going to be a sweep. I don't think it's going to be four games. I think it might take five or six games to beat the Dallas Mavericks. I do believe we're going to see um, Kawhi Leonard put up an incredible performance. But Dallas have something that could actually upset this whole series. They have a guard, a center, who can actually shoot, play in the front court, play in the back court, can make mid-range mid, mid shots. He can make jumpers. The guy can slam dunk. The guys can hit threes. He plays like a guard, but he's a center. That's my big major concern is that even though I said the Clippers might win this series in five or six games, how do you stop somebody that's a center that can hit mid-range shots, threes, slam dunk, cross you over like he's Allen Iverson, and this guy's like, what, six foot eleven, seven foot one, and he playing like he Allen Iverson? He playing like he, and then the guy can pass the basketball. So that's like a that's like a big advantage for the Dallas Mavericks. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Clippers win the first game, and then Dallas either wins game two or game three, and then takes the lead on the Clippers, and then the Clippers respond back in game four and five, and then possibly. And I'm not saying it's a 100% guarantee, but it's possible that they end up going to a Game 7. Because I don't just see the Clippers just automatically go, go in there and take two or three games and they got it in the bag. We're, we're, we're looking at a, a series here. We're looking at an actual test of will here. You got the Clippers who want to prove that they're better than the Los Angeles Lakers. And you got the Dallas, Maver excuse me, you got the Dallas Mavericks that want to prove that their name should be in this conversation. And this is also a statement game. Now, who takes game one? Who wins game one? I got the Los Angeles Clippers taking game one and winning game one by 122 to 119. This is a basketball game that I do expect to go into overtime. Why? Because if I said the Clippers win 110 to 105, that would be wishful thinking. Because in order to beat this team, they're going to have to score more points than they usually would do. You know, this Dallas Maverick team is not going to go away because you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. They, they'll they just play tight defense on this on this team. And Doc Rivers knows that. So he's going to have to make some big minor adjustments throughout the whole game because that guard, he can do it all. This guy ain't got no issue playing offense and defense. This guy could play his back to the basket. He could play in the front court. And it's like, how do you, like, are you going to put two guys on him, three guys on him? It's like, what's your strategy for that? Like, this guy, the way he plays and the way he hits baskets, it, it's like anything I've ever seen before. It's like, what if you had someone like a Shaq but play like that? He's like Shaq that can kind of cross you over and hit them threes on you and dunk. 
And it's like, yeah, Kawhi Leonard might be able to put up some points, but we're talking about this guy. Now, the only thing that might cause the Dallas Mavericks to lose this series is if they just lose two or three games and they just get behind in a series and they just won win game and they're out. I believe this might be the, uh, a series changer here. If they beat the Dallas Mavericks, then this is a team you expect to go all the way to the championship. If the Dallas Mavericks upset, which that could actually happen, then you're expecting Dallas Mavericks to upset the series. So Clippers will win 122 to 119. If there's an upset, which there could be, Dallas Mavericks 123 to 122. I don't think you're going to see no blowout in this particular game. Not in game one. Maybe in game two. I don't even think you'll see one. Maybe in game three or four, you might get a blowout. Clippers might take this series in five or six games. Um, to say four is wishful thinking. So I think Clippers could take it in five or six games.